evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Lumley. And I'm Marissa Donovan. And this is your A News. In eastern India, an 18 year old boy by the name of Manglai Manda went somewhere no man or woman has ever gone before. To ward off evil spirits, Muna decided to openly marry a dog. That's right, folks, not a human. With over 50 guests, the wedding was quoted lavishing. And when asked about their intimate moments, the canine replied, We don't do doggy style. That's racist. <laughs> Within this past weekend, two men have unsuccessfully attempted breaking and entering into the White House. Footage shows the first man, Omar Gonzalez, scaling the fence and sprinting across the grass. Luckily, President Obama and his family left on a helicopter minutes before Gonzalez trespassed. But it's like, isn't Omar missing the point? Yeah, like, he's, he's gone. Obama's Audi 5000. Yeah, he's up in the sky like this guy right now. Shout out to Secret Service, though. Mm, yeah. <laughs> a woman named Desma Cachet Brown stole her elder's housemate's debit card and used it to order up over $400 worth of clothing. On the run, Brown used her outstanding decision-making skills to find the perfect hiding spot from the law. An oven. <laughs> Unfortunately, the heat was on for the police to find Brown, and they quickly uncovered her like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Brown is currently behind bars and should expect to be roasted in a court of law very soon. <laughs> this just in, all members of your Ohio University Student Senate have now vacated their positions due to various controversies. The final remaining student government member, Vice President Crystal Kington, announced she was resigning due to pressure from community members. The OU student body was outraged after Kington emerged on a social media video of herself dumping a bucket of pumpkin spice latte on herself <laughs> in protest of the drink's September 1st reemergence. A date Kington felt was far too early. Her last words to her outraged constituents? Like, it's not even fall. <laughs> <clears throat> and now, a topic that might be of great concern to many of you. Our leggings pants. Joining us today is renowned columnist Jean McDonald, who advocates for the position that, no, leggings are not pants. Jean? All right, let's just get straight to the point. Leggings are not pants. They're meant to be worn under completely different articles of clothing. The only time you should ever leave your house wearing nothing but leggings is if you're on your way to a dumpster. Or if it's Halloween and your costume is garbage. <laughs> You know what, Jean? I can't take another word of this garbage. I'm sorry, your legs are too ugly to show off in public. As president of the newly found Leggings Are Life Club, I'll be devoting all of my time convincing everybody on campus that leggings are the way to go. And as for this job, I quit. Well, <clears throat> we're sorry about that, folks. Uh, that's all the, oh my god. That's all the time we have for tonight. Join us next week as we search for a slightly less embarrassing co-anchor. Until then, this has been your Ray News. Get off my set, man legs. <laughs>